The following presentation was recorded at the Buddhist Society of Victoria, Malvern East, Australia. Please visit our website at bsv.net.au. Today, the yogi, the society, invite us. When you arrive to Australia, previous time also one time I have been in this meditation hall. Today also. The devotee or society invites to us, and therefore, I can come here to share the mark to the our relatives. We are all our relatives in previous life. So also, this present life also, we are the same family, monks, nuns, all devotees, male and females. We are all the same family because we are disciples of the Buddha. We are sons and daughters of the Buddha. So we are all the same family, previous life also, and this present life also. I am very happy to see our family. So I will give the mother as much as I can, but my English is very poor. So, today, I will give the matok up mada. The name of the matok up mada. Buddha also <clears throat> himself give this apmada, apmada na bhikkhu sambadita, with be diligent monks, accomplish the three training. Morality, concentration, and wisdom. In Bali, Sila, Samadhi, and Banya. So, <clears throat> before I give the mud talk, let us be homage to the Buddha. Rabbi Abdami, Bodo, So Bagawa, Bodaya, Tama, DCD, say again, Bodo, So Bagawa, 
Bodaya Tamang Tesedi Thus Pali, we pay homage to the Buddhas. Now I will explain the meaning. <clears throat> the Buddha is the great refuge for us to take into our heart. Have been fully realized the four noble truths. He gives up take on the four noble truths out of compassion in order to make us realize the same as he did. We pay homage to such a compassionate the Buddha. <clears throat> the Buddha was fully aware of the four noble truths. Through his own practice, they are in brief as hollow. Dukkha Sisa, the truth of suffering. Samuriya Sasa, the truth of the cause of suffering. Nirara Sisa, the truth of cessation of suffering. Maga Sasa, the truth of the path to cessation of suffering. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the Buddha completely realized this poor noble truth without learning from anybody. That is why he is honored as Buddha, the enlightened one, and Sama Sam Buddha, the fully self enlightened one. Thus he himself fully realized the truth and he taught them to us out of great compassion so that we can attain mega pala enlightenment and be liberated from suffering in the same way as he was. That is what this was of prayer means. We say at the beginning, Bodo, so Bhagawa, Bodaya, Taman, Desedi. So, <clears throat> if we pray homage to the Buddhas. So, <clears throat> we pay homage to him, reciting that praise, reflecting this virtues, and wishing that everything goes safe and sound with us when preaching and listening to the Dhamma talk. So, before you give Dhamma talk, we pay homage to the Buddhas. We want to reach liberation because of pay homage to the Buddhas. So, we want to get whatever we need and the drought of the river in Sansara. And therefore, we pay homage to the Buddhas. <clears throat> now, I will give the Dhamma talk. And I already give the Abhamada. So, 
we were reborn in human existence. That's it. To be rare, too difficult to be reborn in human existence. Because previous life, you do only some deeds with a great effort, great wholesome deeds, and therefore you were reborn in this present life, human life. That also difficult to were reborn in human existence. If you didn't have wholesome deeds and previous life, you cannot be born in this present life. And therefore, we are very lucky to be born in human rights, human life. That's one rare. Even though you were reborn a human right, human life, it is there to be loud life. We should support our body for uh, kinds of supporting. You should have karma and previous life. So also, we should be good mind. If you worry, anxiety too much, you cannot be, you cannot be love like. So, we should get happiness, good mind in this present life, and therefore we can be long life. So that's also difficult to get to rayon to be long life. So also the Buddha taught us Kesho Manusa Pati Labo or explain number one. Kesha Mishana Zivita that also I explain or I explain. Kesha Sadama Savana it is difficult to listen Dhamma talk to lead liberation, Nibbana. That's very important for us. Now we are reborn human existence. You are beloved light and then you can listen to my talk now. If you cannot listen to my talk, you cannot get inside knowledge, but the impression knowledge is nibbana. You cannot get if you didn't last cannot listen to Dhamma talk. Now you can listen to Dhamma talk. So, another difficult and to get Kesho Bhutana Mopado. It is to dare the Buddha began enlightenment or his teaching morality concentration and wisdom that is also difficult for example 
In this time, the Buddha teaching has in this word. If you were born, have existence, you cannot listen to my talk. If you were born, animal existence, you cannot listen like this to my talk. So, if you were born, hungry go existence, you cannot listen to my talk. So, it's difficult to listen to my talk. It's they are to listen to my talk. Now you can listen to my talk. Everything complete with you. And therefore, you sh we shouldn't forget to do wholesome deed, to do wholesome deed. If you forgot to do wholesome deed, you will not get good result. You cannot reborn good existence. Are you may exist then? Celestia exist then? Brahma existence. You will not reach liberation, Nibbana. So, now you get chance to listen to Dhamma talk. Even though you get chance, you are not mindful. You will not listen to Dhamma talk because you are forgotful. Now you are uh, mindful. So we shouldn't forget to avoid a wholesome action. If you have been mindfulness, you cannot avoid a wholesome action. Now you are mindful, mindful, and therefore you can avoid unwholesome actions. Baba action, bodily action, mental action, three kinds of wholesome action. So, if you forgot to avoid a wholesome deed, you will not get good result. If you cannot control in your body and body action, you are telling lies a cylinder in high speed, pre-bola talk. That's four kinds of speed. If you not control your mind, you can commit this unwholesome bodily action. At the time, you will not get wholesome D. So also, you cannot control your bodily action, bodily bad action, body action. If you killing living beings, if you stealing other properties, what is not given? If you commit sexual misconduct, you will not get Hussandi. So also, <clears throat> um, 
you want to get other property and lawful, you change your mind. I want to get other property and lawful. So, you desire to other beings to uh, destroy. So, you miss around you and you are made You don't believe karma is the result. If you are in doom, I hold some action, I will get good result. If you are in doom, hold some deed, I will get good result. If I do a wholesome deed, I will get better result. You don't believe that. At that time, that's called round you. In Palace, Mecha Deity, round you. So, these three bad actions, if we commit the three bad action, we will not get good result. You didn't control your bodily action, Baba action, Meta action. You didn't avoid a whole sun action. So also you didn't do whole sun D, whole sun action. And therefore, you will get better result because of your bad action, bodily action, barber action, mental actions. You will reborn lower existences, hair existence, anim animal existence, hungry go existence because of your bad action. So, you will get bad results many, many years and then the raw of riba and sansara. So now, we will get the poor chance and therefore, we understand. If you do good action, you will get good result. If you do bad action, you will get bad result. You understand that. Because then you listen to the mad talk. The Buddha taught us, this is bad action. You shouldn't do bad action. This is a good action, good deed. You should do good deed. The Buddha taught us. We understand that. We believe that. And therefore, we avoid a wholesome action. Bodily bad action, poverty bad action, mental bad action. As a master, we can. Even though we cannot despair totally with path and fruition knowledge, we can avoid as much as we can. And therefore, we cannot get our action too much. Because we believe that if I do a um, bad action, I will get better result. Let me do good action, I will get good result. We believe that. The basic knowledge, Kama Sakata Samadhi, we are all have this knowledge. I will explain. If you do bad action, we, you get 
better result. You will be born lower existences. Nobody created to you. Because you are better than you get better result. Now you know, if you do good action, I will get good result. I can reborn human existence, celestial existence, Brahma existence. Finally, I will reach liberation, Nibbana. We believe that. And therefore, We should forget to avoid unwholesome deeds or unwholesome action. If you avoid unwholesome deeds, unwholesome action, you will not reborn lower existences. Her existence, animal existence, hungry go existence. Then, therefore, you should be mindful. If you don't mindful, we don't have mindful. You can commit a wholesome action. You cannot control our bodily action, body action, mental actions. Other than you will be born. You will get good result. You will be born in lower existences. Now you know, if I do wholesome D, I will get good result. Good action means good wholesome D. Charity wholesome D, morality wholesome D, Meditation for Sunday. You understand. If you give charity for Sunday, our Buddhist devotees, they offer four requisites for robes. Dwelling place, medicines, they offer as much as they can. This whole Sunday will give you good result. You will reborn human existence or celestial existence, celestial abode. And thus, life. You will get whatever you need. For example, you will reborn human existing. You will get food, clothes, dwelling place. And whatever you need, you can get education or your business. You can do easily. Because of you are charity host and If we look at on the world, there are many people. They are different. Some people are very rich. Some people are very pure. Some people are beautiful. Some people are ugly. Not the same. That is nobody create us. Our action, our karma creates us. And therefore, if you do um, wholesome deed, you will get better result. Nobody create. You do yourself. You get yourself the result. If you do good tea, wholesome tea, 
charity holds and he, morality holds and he. Now you control your bodily action, Baba action. You observe morality. Panadi, Bada, Uramani, Sekabada, Samadhi, Yami, abstain from killing living beings. That you control your body with mindfulness. No mindfulness you cannot control. Adena, Dana, Uramani, Sekabada, Samadhi, Yami. I abstain from taking. What is it not giving? I am the implement such a misconduct. You control your body with the mindfulness because you control your bodily by action. So also, Musa, Wada, Viramni, Sekhavadan, Samadhi, Yami. I abstain from a telling line. Every officer, Musa, Wada, Viramni, another three also include. I abstain from cylindering. Cylindering means two people love each other. Someone broke their lapping. They hate each other. Like this speech we call cylindering. We should avoid that also. Some people are unity. All people, they love each other. They are unity. But someone broke their unity. They hate each other. Their unity are broken because of someone. That's all we call cylindering. We shouldn't do like this. That's called cylindering. So also, abusive speech or harsh speech, we shouldn't do. Nobody like. You are foolish person. You are wicked person. If someone tells you you don't like, and they have let this speech, you shouldn't tell. At the time, your speech are pure. So, Prabhupada talk means you didn't get any benefit. Uh, you cannot get worldly affair. You cannot get properly in worldly life. And you cannot get wholesome and unworldly life. That is busy. If we can avoid that your proper actions are pure. And therefore, we control our bodily bad action, bad action, observing by precept. Now you get morality. You complete with the morality. You follow the teaching of the Buddha of morality. Because of you are mindful. So, if you complete with the morality, you will never reborn lower existences. Because of your morality. You will reborn higher existence. Human existence, celestial existence. You can reborn because of your morality. Not only does the, this benefit, if you complete with the morality, if you practice meditation, your morality supports your concentration. You can get concentration easily. If you get concentration, you get wisdom. You will see the nature of physical and mental phenomena. 
You can get inside knowledge because of your concentration and your wisdom. So, we meet the teaching of the Buddhas. We shouldn't forget to avoid a wholesome day, to do wholesome day. That's very important for us. Now, you know the reason of a wholesome day also, the reason of wholesome day also. And therefore, we can come here. You can listen to my talk. So, you can observe precept, early five precept. Some people observe a precept, then precept. This precept, we will never send you to lower existences. You bring you, we bring you higher existences if you complete with the morality. And therefore, we should be God to observe morality, at least by precept for the lay person, lay devotees. If you can observe morality, at least by precept, you will never be born lower existence. So although you believe that, and therefore you observe by precept, a precept, thus you follow the teaching of the Buddha. You are disciple of the Buddha. You are sons and daughters of the Buddhas. If you follow his teaching morality, Now, not only complete with the morality, should complete with the morality, we should complete concentration also, wisdom also. That's important for us, because you meet the teaching of the Buddha. If we didn't follow his teaching, we cannot get good result. You cannot reborn. Good existences. Now you can follow his morality, and then you should follow his teaching concentration. Now you listen to my talk, you get concentration. Because you aware that the my talk with mindfulness, you put effort. And then you aware that Dhamma talk with mindfulness. Your mind stay in the Dhamma. That's called concentration. We can get concentration. At the moment, defilement cannot arise in your mind. Greed cannot arise in your mind. That moment. Hatred cannot arise in your mind. Delusion cannot arise in your mind. Pride, etc., cannot arise in your mind. Your mind are pure because listening to my talk. So, that's the address you can get. Sometimes, you reflect on the chief quality of the Buddhas. It is be so Bhagavan, Arahan, Sama, Sambodo. You recite if you remember that. Buddha's chief qualities stay in your heart. At that time, this divine cannot arise in your mind. Greed, hatred, delusion, etc. And there was some time you should reflect on the chief quality of the Buddha. Arahan, or Samasambodha, 
Vijacharana, Sampano, etc. If you get all nine qualities of the Buddhas, you remember that you reflect this quality of the Buddha as much as you can. During reflecting the quality of the Buddhas, defilement cannot arise in your mind. Your mind is pure. You get concentration. So sometimes you practice loving kindness, meditation. We we already reflect uh, loving kindness, meditation. May I be well, happy, and peaceful. You see, you are saying loving kindness. May my parents be well, happy, and peaceful. And you see, your parents. Loving kindness. May my family be well, happy, and peaceful. May my relatives be well, happy, and peaceful. May my may all beings you can send in this country, in this town, in this country. In this world, you send loving kindness. You love all beings. Hatred cannot arise in your mind. And then you get happiness and peacefulness because of your loving kindness, meditation. That's called you get married also. So. If you live a worldly life at home, sometimes you should practice meditation or reflecting the chief quality of the Buddha, Arahang, Arahang. Arahang means Buddha. Chi quality one of Buddha Chi qualities. He complete with a great morality, great concentration, great wisdom. Nobody can compare to him. Our Buddhas. Nobody can compare human being. Celestial being, Brahma beings, no better compare the Buddha, the greatest one in the world, because he complete with the morality, with the concentration, with wisdom. He know the whole noble truth himself. Nobody teach him, and therefore we pay homage to the Buddha Sabagwa. He know himself also. He also taught us this the four noble truth, and therefore we believe the Buddhas. We understand the chief quality of the Buddhas. At that time, you and pay homage to the Buddhas more and more, more and more, because you understand or oh, the Buddhas has. Chief qualities, a briefly nine. Many many chief qualities of the Buddhas, and therefore we believe the Buddhas. We take refuge to the Buddha. Buddha Sarana Gachami, Dhamma Sarana Gachami, Sangha Sarana Gachami, because we believe his chief qualities. At that time, Buddha's chief quality stay in your heart. The defilement cannot arise in your mind. You get concentration. So you should, we should complete with the wisdom, the teaching of the Buddhas. So. 
not only complete with the morality, not only complete with the concentration, we should complete with the wisdom also. So, how will we do to complete with the wisdom? We should practice meditation. If you practice meditation, means you uh, practice the four foundation of mindfulness. Maybe some yogi they understand because they are practicing meditation, inside meditation, not samatha meditation. How to practice? The four foundation mindfulness. Contemplate on the body. That's kaya nupasana, siddhi patana. We practice meditation. The Buddha taught us you should tune quiet place in the forest. In the tree, under the trees, or in the quiet place, like this meditation hall. We didn't hear any um, voice. Other than we can practice meditation. Practice meditation means you practice the four foundation of mindfulness. We should do that. Contemplate on the bodies. Whatever body action arises, we should note. There are four pascha, sitting pascha, standing pascha, walking pascha, lying pascha. We have four pascha. Especially sitting pascha, you can sit on part of the way. And you put your upper body straight. Mm. And then you, you close your eye. Breathe no man. Put your mind on the abdomen. As I meditation means whatever object arises, we should know that. In the body, in the mind, whatever oil object present, you should know. And therefore, if you sit in meditation, you put the right upper body, breathe in normal, close your eye, and put your mind on the abdomen. When you breathe in your abdomen, we arise. You should know that this, that object arising. When you breathe out, your abdomen will fall. You know that object is falling. That you, at the beginning yoga, we teach like this. Slowly, slowly, not important to bubbly. We should know it with the mind. If you know rising, you will see tension, vibration, or movement. You will see clearly. Because you put effort, you aware the object with mindfulness. Your mind steady on the object, rising moment, falling moment, rising moment, falling moments. The mind stay every moment of this. And then you see the movement from the beginning to the end. Rising, arise, and it stop. And falling, arise again. And also it's all. Another rising, arise, it stop. And then another falling, arise. One arrives and disappear. Another arrives, disappear. 
You see arising this beer. If you see clearly with concentration, with wisdom, that is called wisdom, inside knowledge. If you really see arise and pass away, you will understand impermanent. Arise in this bias, we call suffering. They arise then say, they disappear then say. And therefore, you cannot control them. You cannot govern them. They arise then say, they disappear then say. And therefore, they are called uncontrollable. And Bali's Anicca, Dukkha, Anatta. And Bamene, Sapriya, No So, No Se, Uncontrollable. You understand yourself. That is called inside knowledge. You can see yourself. If you practice your bodily action, so, you move your bodily action. There are many bodily action. Going, standing, looking, bending, selection, all bodily actions. The last moment you should be mindful. Other than you see their nature, tension, vibration, or movement. That you see the nature. This movement, they arise and disappear. Another new arrives and disappear. You will see yourself. And therefore, you understand impermanent suffering, no so, no so, uncontrollable. That's called inside knowledge. This inside knowledge, only practice meditation yogi can see. Other people cannot see. They, they don't know. If you see in this way, there are no soul, no person, no man, no woman, only physical phenomena. You understand. You know again and again, the mind goes to the objects, we clear to you. At the moment, the objects not in mind, you will clear yourself. You can see separately physical and mental phenomena. There are no soul, no person, no man, no woman, only physical and mental phenomena. Ordinary people, they know this is the I, this is he or she. For the yogis cannot see what is life, like uh, general persons. You see special experience, that's called inside knowledge. And therefore, we should. Get inside knowledge also. If you want to get inside knowledge, you should practice meditation. You should develop the full foundation of mindfulness. Now, I already explain and contemplation, contemplation, contemplate on the body, the one object. If you practice me sometime, you know rising, falling, or you know obvious bodily action, sometime sensation can arise in your mind, in your body. Pain, itching, numbness, etc. It 
obvious. You cannot know the rising and falling. Bodily action. At that time, you should note that sensation. Pain arises. You aware the pain. You see the pain. That's called sensation. Unpleasant sensation. You know continuously that unpleasant sensation, you will see increase or decrease or disappear. That you see yourself. At that time, the sensation also arises. Slowly, slowly, with this fear, you will see that. That also, sensation also, unpleasant sensation, this fear. You can see pleasant sensation, that good, pleasant sensation. Pleasant sensation also arises in this fear. Never stay a long time. One arise and another one arise, this fear. Maybe you complete, con contemplate with the sensation, you see the nature of sensation. The sensation arises in this fear, you see that. If you see this fear, all, this sensation also impermanent. Arising in this fear also that we call suffering. This sensation is not so, no say. No passion, no man. Only sensation. There are no soul, no sense, no passion, no man. You will see yourself. That is called contemplate on the sensation. The second object. Sometimes you know rising, falling, main object. Your mind stay a long time and the rising, falling. Thinking my arise. Go somewhere, go home, go to the job. The mind thinking a lot, right? At the time, you know that moment, you know that mind thinking, thinking, planning, planning, imagining, imagining. At the time, the thinking mind will disappear. You see the game mind also, consciousness. The consciousness is not you, only consciousness, only knowing. That consciousness also arises in this fear. You will see yourself in your practice. So, the consciousness also impermanent, suffering, no so, no say, uncontrollable. They arise, they say, they disappear, they say. It is called contemplate on the consciousness. Sita Nupasana, Siddhi Bhattana, in Bali. Contemplate on the consciousness. That's one object. Sometime, Dhamma objects. Dhamma object means seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching. That's called Dhamma objects. Dhamma objects are very generous. If you contemplate on the uh, bodily action, Dhamma object also includes. If you contemplate the sensation, the mind object also included. If you contemplate uh, on the consciousness, the mind object also included. Because they are physical or mental phenomena. That's the kanda, ayatna, all the dhamma. And therefore, the mind object is very general. Very common are the three objects, and therefore we should know that. But in the Siddhi Pitana Sutta, the Buddha taught Dhamma objects Nivarana, Khanda, Ayana, Puchinga, hmm, 
Maginga, Babas, etc. So, that many, many Dhamma objects. But we should know the yogi, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting. At the moment, you know, he, seeing, seeing. Seeing also, you cannot see the whole day. At the moment, you have the eye, there are the visible object. At that moment, seeing consciousness arise. They also arise disappear. Seeing continuously, this physical middle of now arise continuously, disappear continuously. And therefore, we should know that <coughs> the mind object also. If you uh, practice the four foundation mindfulness, you are mindful. You complete with the mindfulness. And therefore, you get inside knowledge. Inside knowledge means you see the nature of physical emitted phenomena. You see arise and disappear. You see impermanent, suffering, no so no so. Every arising moment, whatever physical immediate phenomena arise, you should know that. If you want to know, you should put effort. You should be mindful and that your mind state every moment of just. You get concentration. If you get concentration, you get wisdom also. You see physical and media phenomena, you see arising despair, you see impermanent suffering, suffering no so no so uncontrollable. You are saying that is practical knowledge, not general knowledge. You listen to my talk, you understand physical and media phenomena, right? Uh, they are arising despair, they are impermanent. You listen to my, you understand. That's general knowledge, not practical knowledge. We should get practical knowledge ourselves. And therefore, you should practice meditation. You should practice the full foundation of mindfulness. And then you will get inside knowledge step by step. If you practice meditation, you practice the four foundation mindfulness. You are developing the eightfold noble path. Because be, before you practice meditation, you observe precept. You already complete with the morality. Right speed, right action, right livelihood. You already complete three uh, noble path. And then you practice meditation, you put effort. You aware the object with mindfulness. And then you might stay every moment of just. At that time you get concentration. Right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. Every noting moment, these three factors are right together. They are called concentration. And therefore, at that time, you are developing concentration. And then you see the nature of physical and mental phenomena, right? Tension, vibration, movement, pain, itching, numbness, thinking, planning, imagining, seeing. Every moment, you see their nature. You see arising despair. You understand impermanent, suffering, no so, no so, uncontrollable. That's called inside knowledge. That's called wisdom. That means right view, right thought. We order the Eightfold Noble Path. If you practice the meditation, this eightfold noble part 
are developing to you every moment. Right speed, right action, right livelihood. <coughs> right speed, right action, right livelihood. Right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. Right view, right thought. Right thought means you put your mind on the objects and the meditation. It is called right thought. Or you aim your mind to the objects. That is called right thought. Right view arise, right thought also arise together. They are called wisdom. Right view, right thought. You see the nature of physical and mental phenomena. You see the arising despair of physical and mental phenomena. You see impermanent suffering, no so no say, uncontrollable. That's called wisdom. That's called inside knowledge. If you complete with this inside knowledge, you will reach slowly, slowly liberation, season of all physical and mental phenomena. You can reach. You can reach path and fruition knowledge. If you com- uh, practice meditation, you can get wisdom. So we should get wisdom also in this present life. This present life is the best chance. You can do charity whole Sunday. You can do morality whole Sunday. You can do wisdom whole Sunday. All whole Sunday you can do that. You get married whole Sunday. This whole Sunday we bring you, we give, give you good result. You will never reborn lower existences. You will reborn higher existences. And finally, you will reach liberation, season of all suffering. And therefore, we should for God to avoid unwholesome action, unwholesome deed. We should do, should be God to do wholesome deed occasionally, as much as you can. Charity wholesome deed, if you offer the requisites, you will get good result. Wherever you were reborn, you will get good result, whatever you need. Food, clothes, dwelling place, education, business. You can get easily because you are charity wholesome D. This charity wholesome D also, if you do that moment, you earn your eaten me dana. Neba nasa pasio hotu. Me my charity whole Sunday, me my dana. I want to attain liberation, Nibana, because you are dana. That you are charity whole Sunday, we bring you slowly, slowly to reach liberation. So morality also the same. Concentration also the same. Wisdom also the same. So, we we are reborn a human existence. We are downright. We can listen to my talk. We understand general knowledge. And then we practice meditation practically. At that time you get wisdom inside knowledge step by step. And finally, you will reach liberation, Nibbana. Even though we cannot reach this present life, you will never reborn lower existence. You will reborn higher existence step by step, step by step. And finally, you will reach liberation. So, how happy we are 
we we are reborn human existence. We can get all horse and tree. If you want to get horse and tree, you can get. If you want to do a horse and tree, you will get a horse and tree. That depends on you. The Buddha taught us this is a good place, good way. This is the bad way. If you go bad way, you will get better place. If you go good way, you will get good place. The Buddha show us. It will depend on ourselves to go. If you want to go, want to reach best place, you can do better action. If you want to uh, reach good place, you will do good action. The Buddha cannot bring you to you. You do you as a bad. The Buddha show us that's a good. You should complete. You should do. That's a no good. You shouldn't do. This depends on us. No Buddha depends on the Buddhas. The Buddha only show. And therefore, now, we will are reborn human existence. The teaching of the Buddha also a light now. This is a morality. This is a concentration. This is a wisdom. Already have in his teaching. We should follow ourselves. You shouldn't be God to avoid a whole Sunday. We shouldn't be God to do whole Sunday. That depends on us. Now, enough today. Now we came here. You have paid. But they are the matok. I will go to the um, place, Buddha's um, society. Um, society, another one. What's it? Um, that's it. I will go with it. That's a good uh, thought. Good thought. I want to do whole Sunday. I want to do charity whole Sunday. I want to practice uh, some morality. I want to listen to my talk. I want to practice meditation. That is called right thought. In other side also. In meditation, you cannot thought like this. Other than just aware on the objects, that's called right thought. Right? Intention. Right view also. So, you practice meditation, you are developing the April Nobel path. This April Nobel path will lead you to liberation. That's all. Shouldn't be God. To do what is done. That is called uh, mindfulness. If you want to do whole Sunday, that's mindfulness. And therefore, I have been to see my relatives, brothers and sisters. We are the same family, the, the father of the Buddhas. This present life. You believe the Buddhas. You follow his teaching. We also follow his teaching. We are the same families. So, I want you to practice about 10 minutes. Can you practice meditation? About 10 minutes. Okay. You get the meditation whole Sunday also. Sit compatible way. Put your hand on the lap. You can put like this also, you can put like this also. Like this also. Put the trait of our body. Close your eyes. Breathe normal. Don't press, breathe in, breathe out. 
Pritno me. Put you on my on the abdomen. It's a meditation means every object we can note, but at the beginning you cannot note every moment object. When you get concentration more and more, you can get every moment object. At the beginning, just the a few objects, and therefore you put your mind on the abdomen. When you breathe in, your abdomen will arise. Note that object will arise. When you breathe out, your abdomen will fall. Note that object falling, rising, falling, rising, falling. You will see clearly, slowly, slowly. You will see tension or vibration or movement that you see the nature. You get concentration more and more. You will not see uh, abdomen, body, you cannot see. You only see the movement. Now again and again, the noting mind also will clear to you. At the moment, there are only physical movement and knowing mind. Only two phenomena. You can see separately. At that time, you understand. Oh, there are no soul, no self, no person, no man. Only physical and At that time, you get inside knowledge. So every moment of just arise and disappear. They never stay a long time. And therefore, you see, uh, arise in this way also. That's also wisdom. If you see arise in this way, you see impermanent. Understand what oh, this is impermanent. All phenomena, they are impermanent. Because you see this way and arise this way. We understand ourselves. As in this way, we call suffering. You cannot say uh, satisfied, sukha. All phenomena are suffering, dukkha, because they arise in this way. We cannot control them, that's another. Every noted moment, every phenomena, objects noted mind, they arise together, disappear together. You see that, you get inside knowledge. This inside knowledge, higher and higher, you will reach path and progression knowledge and liberation. Sometimes, sensation arises, pain, itching, numbness, it's obvious. You don't need to know the rising poly. You can know that sensation, pain, Itching, numbness. <clears throat> you see the sensation. Sensation is not you, just sensation. That's pain. You understand that. That sensation also arises in this beer. You will see that. Never stay a long time. One arises, another one arises. If you look carefully, not only one sensation. Many sensations you can see. Like ant go, you see far away, you see the line. You see closely, there are no line. One ant go, another one ant go, goes like this. And you get concentration, you will see a phenomena. Rise and disappear, rise and disappear. And they are, they are also are impermanent. Thinking mind arises, just no thinking, thinking. You see the thinking mind, you see consciousness. Thinking mind disappear. Arise again, no again, and disappear, you see that. Hearing, moment, no hearing, hearing. You see the sound. Sounds in there, no passion, no man. We used to know. If you hear the sound, that's a man, that's a woman, that's a car, that's a bath. Arrive the concept. When you get concentration, you only see the sound. 
Sasi no pasi no me no me. The son arise this be a you will see that. That contemplation on the Dhamma objects. If you contemplate the four foundation of this, you are developing the April Nobel Path. The April Nobel Path will bring you higher existences or path improvement knowledge. You are closer and closer and closer to the liberation. If you know again, again, you will surely reach liberation. So, practice happily, ardently, energetically, meticulously, heartedly. You get wisdom, wholesome, you get inside knowledge. Not everybody can get like this ocean deed, like this chance. The body of people only can get like this ocean deed. And therefore, practice happily. You are very lucky. You had perfection in previous lives. And therefore, you were reborn. You may exist then. You can meet the teaching of the Buddhas. You can follow the teaching of the Buddhas. And therefore, you are very lucky. You put apart, you aware the objects, mindfulness. You are mindful every moment of just. You get concentration. You already complete with the morality, as be, as action, right livelihood. After observing, by precept. Now you aware present moment of just. You see the nature. Pitigan media phenomena of Pitigan. You see arising this fear of Pitigan media phenomena. You see impermanent, suffering, no so, no so. That's called wisdom. Right view, right thought. And therefore, you are developing the Epo Nobel Path. The Epo Nobel Path will lead you, higher existence will lead you to liberation, Nibbana. So, how happy we are. We are very lucky. Okay, enough. Now, we <coughs> pay home to the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha, parents, teachers, with our practice. And then we wish to reach liberation, Nibbana, and then we wish here merit. Mm. Rabbi Abdami, Imaya, Dama Nu Dama Badi Badiya, Bodam Bujemi, Imaya, Dama Nu Dama Badi Badiya, Dhamma Bhujemi Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Badi Badiya Sangha Bhujemi Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Badi Badiya Mada Bidaro Pujemi Imaya 
धमानु धमा बदि बदिया आचरिये पूजे मी चुपे हो मे पौधा धमा इन संग पेरिन टीचाज विथ युवा प्रैक्टिस सेम मेडिटेशन नाउ वो विश टू रीड लिबरेशन ने बना बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिस वी एच के फ्रॉम ए जिन डेथ वी रिच लिबरेशन Because of this practice, ada imaya beri berdaya ceram renama beri mosi sami. So, idam me bonya, aswa kaya wahang, odu, idam me silang. मागा फला न्याना सा पासे यो हो डू बिकॉज आवा होल संडी वी वांट टू रिस लिबरेशन नहीं पाना अदा आवा विश रबी अब डामी इधर नो पोन्या बागं मादा बिदुना आचरियाना सब मैदाना सब देवदाना बेदाना सब सदाना देमा सबे सदा ईमा पौन्या बागं लबे द्वा सुखी दा बोंडु साडु 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 Okay, now finish. May you be well, happy, and peaceful. May you be mindful. May you do. May you avoid unwholesome action. May you do wholesome action, wholesome deed. May you reach liberation quickly. Nibbana. Uh,